Hello everyone, my name is Rachita Mathur, currently working as a legal intern at LexClick. So today I'll be discussing on a topic termination of contract. So the uh, termination of contract is given under Indian Contract Act 1872. So in general, a termination of contract is a basic means to end the contract. Further, a termination can in itself become a breach of contract if it can be classified as a wrongful termination. Further, in case of repudiatory breach, which is one of the underlying principles to terminate a contract validly, it simply means a contravention of a stipulated situation which goes so much into the roots of the contract that it makes further commercial performance of a contract impossible. Further, a repudiatory breach can occur if the party does not intend to perform its part of under the contract any further or does any act which are inconsistent with the terms of the contract. So such an act ultimately affects the rights of the other party and consequently in case of such a breach, the option which is available to the other party is either to terminate the contract or to continue the contract by repairing the breach. Further, if the party chooses the former one, then it is generally must be done in fair and reasonable manner as the termination is also subject to the principles of natural justice. However, in some exceptional cases, a termination following the repudiatory breach of contract can also be justified even if the principles of natural justice or the procedure given in the agreement is not followed. Like there was, uh, there was one case of Air India Limited in which it was being held that in case of repudiatory breach of contract by one party, the termination of contract by the other party is justified even if the procedure is not followed. Further, in action or delay or on the part of one party can make the procedure given for the termination non-adherence of the procedure that may not be suffered the party which committed the breach due to their inactions. Now, there was one uh, more case of uh, Deva Builders. Uh, in, in that case, the Supreme Court held that although the defendant has not given the prior notice for terminating the contract, but it was the plaintiff who had committed such breach of the contract by not executing the work in accordance with the terms and conditions of the agreement. Therefore, it was well settled that non-adherence with the termination procedure can sometimes be accepted on the basis of compelling circumstances of the case. However, it is also admitted that the non-compliance of the procedure may lead to the damages which was being imposed by, uh, for wrongful termination of contract. So, the claims of the damages and their quantification would depend upon the following. First, the nature of injury. Second, the injured party responsibility and therefore the extent thereof. Third and the last can be the nature and the extent of injury that has been caused to the parties on each other. Other than the repudiatory breach, a contract can also be terminated in order to mitigate some loss. Like there was one case of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. In this case, it was being cited that due to the loss suffered by the appellant, there was no alternative before uh, them other than to terminate the contract. The court in that case held that the contract could not be specifically enforced and defendant company could not be compelled to, conti to continue the uh, the distributorship of the agent who has uh, deputed not only the defendants but even the customers. Uh, now, this conclusion is also inconsistent with the judgment that was being given under the case of strateg uh, strategic outsourcing uh, INC. In that case, the court of counsel uh, for the uh, for the stated that when a party loses a substantial amount of money under a contract and the negotiation is impossible, then the motive to terminate the contract is neither wrongful. Further, it specifically held that a party desire to avoid some financial losses constitutes a reasonable crown for delaying, for declining to perform otherwise applicable to a contractual obligation. 
so from the above judgment we can conclude that the termination of contract is generally subject to the principle of natural justice but in case of repudiatory breach or non performance or delay caused by one party may entitle the other party to terminate the contract even without following the due procedure that has been stated in the agreement so underlining our reasoning that appears to be behind that uh, that is the fact if one of the party has already manifested its intention not to bound by contract the other party can't be put under unnecessary compulsion of complying with the technical procedure as given in the contract thank you